Okay, this is a tutorial in the workspace of CorelDRAX 4. I'm just going to show you the uh, the parts of the of the interface of CorelDRAX 4. This blue bar here is the title bar. The title bar is where your you know your the location of your file. So for example, here the location of my file is in C drive, documents and settings folder Alex, my documents, and the file name is digital2.cdr. So this bar shows the, the file location. Okay. Now we go to the menu bar. This is the menu bar. Now it's a drop down menu. So these are the, the common uh, menu like file. You can choose some of the commands here like save save us revert and go to edit so this is where you get the commands too now underneath the the menu bar is the toolbars the common toolbars like you know for example new for um, creating a new file okay now if you're not sure about the icon just mouse over it and after that, you would see a tooltip, like for example, here it shows print, save, undo, import. So that's the toolbars. Now here is the property bar. Now you notice here in the property bar, I have a custom sized page which is 88 inches, 88.125 inches by 89.5 inches. So this is this is very important too because if you click on a tool like say for example you click on the zoom tool the property part changes it shows you that there are more options to that tool and you can activate it by choosing uh, the tools here like for example here is zoom to page width page height so it really depends on what tool you choose in here now let's go to the toolbox the toolbox is where the tools are. So this is the toolbox. And if you notice, you would see those, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there are like dotted lines here. That means to say you can detach the, the toolbox. So for example, I wanna detach it and bring it over to the center of my drawing area. So I can put my toolbox, if I drag it to the right side, I can just do it this way and my toolbars are here and also put it right beside my property bar or down by the property bar and that's my toolbar okay. now I'm just going back here I'm just going to, going to put it in the left side because I'm comfortable in the left side now okay I'll just hit F4 here to read the whole thing now the next one would be the, the the rulers see this are this is the ruler and right now if i put my zero here see this is my ruler and it shows here that i have 88 so that's 80 inches so this is the rulers that's the rulers so that you could have you will have an idea like how big is your graphics so for example here uh my graphics is around 88 inches Okay, now, now the next one is the dockers. Okay, you don't see the dockers here, but if I click on, let's say I go to effects and uh, let's say lens, the docker shows up. The dockers again sh uh, is like the properties of an effect. Let's say I go to effects and click on blend. Now I can do my steps here. Let's say, for example, I'm doing a blend from this color to so I'm going to make another one here and then I'm going to choose these two and in here the blend tool I can do 20 steps or 10 steps so the docker is useful to for the property of the effects and then click apply so that's the use of the of the dockers now if you want the docker to go away you just click on this X button uh, X icon here to close it 
Now the next one is the document navigation. This is a document navigation. I'm in page one, which I only have one page. And if I choose to put another page, I just click on this one for to choose page two. I have nothing in page two. So this is the document navigation. So you can navigate, you know, page to page. So go back here. I'm just going to delete this. Okay. Now the next one is the status bar. The status bar is this line here, which includes the fill and the outline. This is also very important so that you could so you would know uh, the these the properties of an object. Let's say I'm clicking on the my text tool and I'll type in text here. I'm just going to enlarge that. Okay, now when I click on the text, now in here in the status bar, you can see that the fill of my text is black and uh, my font is Arial and the outline is none. Now if I put an outline of let's say 16 points, 16 points black outline. Now let's say I'm gonna change the color of the outline to let's say red, click OK don't really see it but there so the status bar is also important because you would see what are the properties of the that object Hit for to view everything now the next one is the the color palettes this is the color palettes here so if you notice if I click on the text and then I change it to yellow that's a color palette there you can also detach the color palette if you want by clicking on that dotted lines and you can make it float like that. Or you can bring it down over to this side here. So it really depends where you're comfortable with. I'm just going to put it in the right side here. And yeah, that's the color palette. And there is one more thing uh, that I want to show you is this navigator. The navigator is is really a neat thing. You can see that uh, there's like a magnifying lens in the lower right corner of the graphics area. If I click on that and, you, and then you move it, okay, it's better if I zoom in first. Let's say I'm zooming into the eye here. And then in here in the navigator, I click on the navigator and you would notice like I can move it, can pan. So that's a nice tool too. Okay. Hit F4 and that ends my tutorial.